What's up, YouTube? So I'm still pissed off about, you know, Obama talking that shit to just people like me, a black man in America that's a citizen, okay, and a man, okay? He's talking to people like me that's voting for Trump. So a black man in America that's voting for Trump. He's talking to people like me, all right? And what his excuse is, is, oh, Phil, you don't believe in a woman being a leader. Well, you're dead ass wrong. Again, I'm going to keep talking this shit because remember, people, you have to understand the blame game is happening right now. This is that point where they're pointing fingers, the pointing fingers bullshit. The reason why they're doing this is because they're trying to have an excuse to who is responsible for not putting them in office when the banks crash. When the banks crash and they have no, when your money's in that bank and that bank goes bye bye, they're going to say, hey, black men, if you voted for us, then Trump wouldn't would have never went in there and did this and that. No, 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 no. All the black men, we understand that you bankers are running from margin calls and Kamala Harris is helping them. See, Biden was too old to even understand what the fuck was going on. He's ignoring the Federal Reserve. And Kamala has said in that little purple suit, she said, yeah, I'm going to ignore the Federal Reserve as well. So you're telling black men you're going to let the Fed just keep blowing money with bankers that that's criminals. They're stealing money, money laundering, TD Bank, all of these banks that are criminals and they get slaps on the wrist while you spend money with them in reverse repos. That's what? Huh? Oh, OK. Bet. And then Ken Griffin. You're giving you're you're like you he stole 42 42 billion in equity and then you find him one million dollars a measly one million dollars bro that's in his shoebox but okay sure that's what you want to do so Obama you're not fooling me bro especially me I know what y'all doing that's the that's the problem I know what y'all doing. Your receipts are all over the place. You're going to play on people's emotions. You're going to play on people's race. You're going to play on all these elements that don't even fucking matter. You're even like, oh, it doesn't matter about policy. It matters about value and character. Nah, bruh. Black men understand that Trump is going to fix the pipe called hedge funds. Okay? He's fixing that pipe. You motherfuckers are using fake fucking shares. And you're propping the market with federal fucking money. Okay? We know that y'all doing that. Okay? And then and then and then they, they doing everything. This is the blame game part. They're gonna have this excuse where they say, oh, Trump went in there and he stopped the piggy bank called the Federal Reserve, and now all the banks crashed. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. Don't blame black men. Don't blame COVID. Don't blame Trump. Don't blame none of that, bruh. Y'all receipts are all over the place. Your receipts, we read your receipts and we see that y'all liars, bruh. And then on top of that, look, Democrat and, and this is just out of just out of pure nature. Democrats, okay, they do this all the time. They say, Hillary Clinton, oh well, you know, I keep some hot sauce in my purse. Bitch, you ain't keeping no hot sauce in your purse. And then you got Nancy Pelosi, like back in 20, whatever. She's wearing the Kente cloths, made everybody in her cabinet wear Kente cloths so they could cater to us. And then you got Kamala right now, you know, using her voice and sounding like a black Southern preacher and then wants to put out Meg Thee Stallion. Huh? So you doing all this pandering. And then when you get in office, you know what y'all do? Y'all use the stock market to extract all the fucking money while telling everybody, look, that's who's to blame. Look over there. Don't look over here. Whoop, extract all the money. And while they're extracting all the money, you know what they're telling you? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I don't have enough money to do these programs. We're watching it in real time. We're watching it in real time. Everybody sees it now. And that's why it's like, y'all want to blame black men, huh? Now I'm on your ass now. I'm on your ass now. You want to blame black men for what we know that you're doing. You're stealing from the American people. And then you're blowing money with all these migrants so that way they can get into the country and then vote for you because they don't understand what I'm telling you. They don't understand the receipts of what I'm telling you. We watching y'all spend all, we watching y'all ignore the Federal Reserve. We watching y'all let the Federal Reserve blow all this money. Every time you talk about your economic policy, Kamala, guess what you're doing? You dancing around this. Even the lady from MSNBC, 
Stephanie Rule, she made that little smirk. She's like, she made that smirk because she understood right then and there that you ain't the one. But she tried to make an excuse on the TV. She don't want to be canceled. That's the problem. Stop being afraid of being canceled. Stop being afraid. Be yourself. And that's what is appealing to black men. Be yourself. Be a leader. Be a leader. Trump is being himself. He don't give a fuck. And then he's, his policies? His policies are going to fix America. And that's the problem. Like Y'all want to go, oh, he's this, he's that, he's this. Like, nobody gives a fuck about that. All, we, all you're telling us is vote for Trump so he can fix America and then turn the TV off. That's all you're telling us. And we're learning real fast, black men in America. We understand now. Most of us are waking up. Even people like myself. I was in the Democrat, whatever. I, I'm, like I said, I'm a registered Democrat. But I, but I became an investor, and I saw that you Democrats are stealing money, and telling the American people you ain't got it, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, student loan debt. Mm. I mean, you, we got a program for it, but you know, you got to pay a thousand dollars every month. Sorry. I mean, you can, you know, I ain't got it, bro. I ain't got it. You know, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Oh, but I know how to do kente cloths. I know how to do hot sauce in my in my purse. See, hmm. That ain't gonna work, man. We tired of y'all. We're tired of y'all. That's the point. You're not making. You can't you can't win with policy. Because if you had to if you had to actually address inflation, you would literally have to close those bankers that you're protecting. You would literally have to address the bankers that's stealing money. You would literally cause a bank run in the United States and make everybody run the credit unions. We're telling everybody, listen, go to credit unions. They're going to fuck all of you. They're telling you to look at the U.S. dollar. Yeah, prop the market. Yeah, we're propping the market with Fed money. The market's great. Remember, every time they say the market's great, that's when you should look the other direction. And all the signs are there. Remember this. S&P 500 was all-time highs in 1929. What happened after that? Whoop, falls. S&P 500, all-time highs in 2000. Whoop, falls. S&P 500, all-time highs in 2007. Whoop, falls. S&P 500 is all-time highs in 2024. History repeats itself. <clears throat> the Democrats know this, and that's why they're not telling you the truth. They're lying on, they're lying on every, every way they can. They're helping these bankers run for margin calls, bro. That's why Kamala's like, oh, uh, you know, I'm just going to tax corporate corporations. Bro, that's not going to stop the Federal Reserve from blowing money and creating inflation. They're the cause of inflation. They've been spending money ever since the apes held the stock. They're trying to prevent the, the Moaz. And that's what we've been telling everybody for four years. And it's going to come soon. And what they're trying to do is blame black men covid and trump like what people if you can't read between the lines and see what's going on it's all about the money it is all about the money the dem the, the i don't know if some of the cnn panelists know this maybe they do maybe they don't but some of them are just paid to be like parrots and shit so it is what it is but you're not convincing me and everybody else that's a white man you're not convincing white women you're not convincing black men you're not convincing black women you're not convincing hispanic women you're not convincing smart people you're not convincing dumb people you're not convincing nobody and it's just like that bro because we understand everybody understands y'all motherfuckers are stealing money making the price of living go up it ain't because of corporate price gouging it's because of the fucking federal reserve blowing all the money on banks that's running from margin calls Okay, and we see what's going on. We see what's going on. That's what's going on. The receipts are everywhere you need to see, but they want to tell you, look the other way. It's about this. It's about race. It's about you're a homophobe. You're a misogynist. And bro, we tired of y'all doing that while stealing money from the American people. We tired of y'all doing that. You're not winning no debate with none of us. You're not convincing none of us, bro. I'm sorry, you're not. And the only way Kamala could probably win, and it's just a joke, the only way Kamala could win with black men 
is if maybe she gets future to perform. <laughs> I'm ready to cook up. I'm ready to cook up. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to cook up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mixtape Pluto. Uh, uh. Yeah. See, you see how that work? Yeah. You ain't no trap star. You a, you a, you ain't even in, you ain't even black. So you don't know. That's why you know we know she ain't one of us. So it is what it is, man. Y'all take it easy. I'll see y'all soon. Another video on the way.